Hi, I'm Teddy Atlas. And again, here to talk to you with DynamicStriking.com, BJJ Fanatics. We've, uh, we've been doing those instructional videos. They do a great job. They're the best in the world at doing it. I've been doing it with them now for the last, I guess, eight months or so. And we've done, well, we've done seven. See if I can remember which ones we've done. We did the fundamentals of boxing with Teddy Atlas. Of course, we did the peekaboo. A lot of you guys wanted to see that. Tyson made that style. Custer's invention, his style, very famous. Floyd Patterson, Jose Torres. And then we did the world of legs. We did 14 different kinds of ways to throw a jab. A lot of people didn't realize there's so many ways to throw a jab. 14 signature punches of great fighters, some of the greatest fighters in the history of this sport, their favorite punches, their signature punches. We also did inside fighting. Uh, we did, uh, matter of fact, let's see, inside fighting we didn't do yet. That's, I'm letting a secret out. You guys aren't supposed to know, don't tell anybody. That's gonna be the next one. We did body punching, we did timing, where you can time a person, counter punching. Matter of fact, uh, the counter punching, that one's coming up too. Uh, we, well, we've done obviously separate distinctive techniques that are very, very important in becoming a champion in boxing. So hopefully you guys are looking them up. You, again, you can find whatever you need. You got the one that incorporates everything, and you got the ones that, like I said, legs, jabs, you know, uh, inside fight, uh, body punching, timing, whatever you need. Just come to us. All right, let's do a story. Let's talk about what you think about when you think about the boxing game, toughness. Because the model, my mentor, I talk about him a lot. He always said that, hey, Teddy, you know, obviously it's a prerequisite to be a fighter. You got to be tough. And the top fighters, they're all tough, all of them. Different degrees, but they're all tough. But when you get a fighter who's tough and smart, well, say this is the scale, right? Two of them, like, even. Well, they're both tough, really tough really tough and one is really smart too he goes up he becomes the tougher guy yeah tougher because he doesn't depend only on that virtue only on that ability that trait he also has the smarts the smarts of technique cleverness being developed discipline control over his emotions calm so he can see everything where he doesn't have to depend just on walking through a guy, just on how tough of the guy. He's got other dimensions and that makes him much tougher. So here's the story I want to tell you. It's the story of one of my favorite fighters back in the 70s, Little Red Lopez, Indian Red, Little Red Danny Lopez. He was a featherweight champ. And he was terrific, but he wasn't real clever, but he was tough. I mean, really tough. And he was usually losing fights, and then he would come back because he would out-tough people. And he had a great right hand, too. And then, and, and listen, he came from poverty, he came from a, grew up on an Indian reservation. I mean, this kid really came up the tough way. And all his way out was to become champ of the world, and he became champ of the world. But then one day, one of my favorite fighters was Danny Little Red Lopez. One day he fights a guy that at that time nobody knew a lot about him, Salvador Sanchez. Turned out to be one of the great fighters of all time, one of the greatest Mexican fighters of all time. Nobody really knew a lot about him at the time. And he fights him. And now, to Custer's point, now you had a guy who was tough, Salvador Sanchez, fighting an unbelievably tough Little Red Lopez, but Sanchez was smarter, more clever. Didn't have to depend only on his grit 
only on his toughness. And well, there was no contest. Broke my heart to see Danny Little Red Lopez taken apart, basically, piece by piece. I think he lasted to the 13th round, something like that, late in the fight, of course. He was Danny Little Red Lopez. Tough, tough, tough guy. But there it is for all you aspiring young fighters out there. You know, yeah, you gotta be tough. But what is toughness? Toughness is also controlling your feelings, your discipline, you know, making the right choices, being smart, you know, not giving in to only fighting in a tough way, being tough enough to control yourself to fight in a way that gives you the best chance to win. Completely in control of your emotions. That's part of being tough. All right. Hopefully you enjoyed this one too. And you've enjoyed the others. And like I said, you're enjoying all those instructional videos. And now you know what to look forward to because I kind of let a couple out of the bag that aren't out there, but they're in the pipeline. They're coming. See you later.